Welcome to Math City with Miss G. Today we are going to talk about introduction of the unit circle. The figure that is on the screen is a unit circle. It is an important part of trigonometry and can define right angle relationships known as sine, cosine, and tangent. As you continue with higher math courses, you will learn how to put together the unit circle, where these numbers came from. But today, we will use this uh, unit circle as reference and learn how a few numbers came from. Let's start with converting degree and radian measures. So what is a degree? Um, degree numbers, such as number 165 deg degrees. So if you remember, um, we've been talking about right triangle. So this angle here would be any number. If we use a protractor and figure out what this measurement would be, so uh, for example, this is somehow close to 45 degrees, which is half of a 90 degrees um, angle. So that part is the 45 degree of a right triangle. So let us focus on the given numbers, such as number 165. So we are looking at a formula from degrees to radians. So we will use number of degree times pi over 180. Let's use that to change or convert 65 degrees to radian measure. So first you may make this into a fraction or may not. Then we are going to multiply the given by pi over 180 from the formula. And um, this will cancel out the degrees and we are left with pi. So when a unit or a number is in pi, it is in uh, radians. So this will give us 65 pi over 180. Now, we can do this uh, using the calculator or we can do it manually. So if we do it manually, we will be thinking about what number can we divide 65 and 180 evenly. And that should be five so let, we're gonna divide 65 by 5 and that is equal to 13 we divide 180 by 5 and that should be equal to 36 and then we did nothing to pi we're gonna drop pi and then this is going to be the unit so 65 degrees is equal to 13 over 36 pi radians now let's try number two. We're gonna multiply pi over 180 degrees. This cancels the degree measure. And so we are left with 20 pi over 180. And again, we can use our calculator to simplify or we can think about what we can divide both numbers evenly. So um, that should be 20. So 20 divided by 20 is 1, and 180 divided by 20 is 9. So 1 over 9 pi radians. Or we can write our answer. If the numerator is 1, we can simply write pi over 9 radians. So 20 degrees is equal to pi over 9 radians. Now let's use this information to fill up this chart. So use the unit circle to fill up the chart. So we're going to convert the degree measures on the left hand side into radians. So that's what we are going to do. So 0 degrees times pi over 180, that is equal to 0 radians. And then let's try 30 degrees times pi over 180 degrees. So that will be 30 pi over 180 degrees. Oh, we already canceled the degrees up right here. So degrees should be not be right there. Erase that part. And so simplifying 30 over 180, that is going to be pi over 6. Now 45 degrees 
times pi over 180. That'll be 45 pi over 180, which is equal to pi over 4. And then 60 degrees times pi over 180. If we simplify, that would give us pi over 60 radians. And then 90 degrees times pi over 180 degrees. So that'll be pi over 2. And then 135 pi over 180 degrees, that would be 3 pi over 4. And last one, 180 degrees times pi over 180 is simply pi. Okay, now notice these numbers. We are going to pay attention to the answer that we got. So we have 0 degree to 0 radians, 30 to pi over 6, 45 to pi over 4, and so on. If you go back and take a look at the unit circle, okay, so we have a 0 degree and then we have 0 pi. We have 30 degree and our number is that 30 degrees is equal to pi over 6. So this is where this number is coming from. We had 45 degrees and then we came up with pi over 4 and so on. So these numbers in the interior of the unit circle are the degree measures. And the second numbers that you are seeing with the pi are radian measures. Okay, so th those numbers, we have figured out how they came about. Now, in this uh, illustration, we have, if you have noticed, if I'm going to focus on this part of the unit circle, uh, this one right here, so we have an ordered pair. Ordered pair will usually be x, y, and they can never switch. So because we are talking about unit circle in trigonometry, so the x value is going to be equivalent to cosine theta, an angle that represents an angle, and then the y would be sine theta. So meaning we are going to make x or sine um, x is going to be equal to cosine theta, while y is equal to sine theta. We're going to use this information to continue with the chart. So meaning our sine, which we have established earlier, is equal to the y value. So if we look at the, um, the given, right? So if the zero degree, we are going to look at the unit circle and pay attention to the y value. So let's go back to the chart. So with zero degree, the y value is zero. So on the chart, we're going to write zero. With 30 degrees, the y value is one half. So in the chart, we are going to write one half where 30 degrees is, and that's what we are going to do. So, so keep going in reference to the yellow sheet. So you will see that zero degrees is equal to zero. Um, as a y value, 30 degrees is equal to 1 half. 45 is pi over 2. 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. And 90 degrees is equivalent to 1. Thir 135, the y value for 135 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. For 180 degrees, the y value is zero. That's how we fill up the sine theta um, column. Now, what about the cosine theta? Remember, the cosine is equal to x. So if we go back to the unit circle, so in the unit circle this time, we are paying attention to the x values. So with zero degrees, 
we're going to write 1 under cosine theta. With 30 degrees, we're going to write square root of 3 over 2 under cosine theta. So we focus on the x, value, x values this time. So let's go ahead and fill up the cosine column. So again, for 0, our x value is 1. 30 degrees would be square root of 3 over 2. For 45 degrees, the x value is square root of 2 over 2. For 60 degrees, it is equivalent to 1 half. 90 degrees, the x value is 0. 135 degrees is negative square root of 2 over 2. And last, 180 degrees, the x value is negative 1. Okay, we are almost done. Okay, so this time, um, the, we are on tangent column. Now, we can find the numbers on, uh, for the tangent column by taking the y values um, divided by x. So basically, we are uh, dividing the uh, sine theta column divided by the cosine theta column. So let's try it. So for 0 degrees, we'll have 0 over 1, which is just equal to 0. For number 2, we'll have uh, 1 half divided by square root of 3 over 2. Remember, when we divide fractions, we will use the acronym or kind of the formula keep, keep, change, change the operation, and then flip the second fraction. So that's what we are going to do. We keep the first fraction one half, we change the operation into multiplication, and then we flip the second fraction into two square root of three. So this will allow us to cancel the two in the denominator and two in the numerator. That would be one over square root of three. Now remember, we cannot have a denominator that is a radical number, square root of three. We need to rationalize. And how do we rationalize again? We are going to use that exact number in the denominator, square root of three, and multiply the fraction with one. But it will be in a form of square root of 3. So times square root of 3 in the numerator divided by square root of 3. So the numerator will be 1 times square root of 3, which is just square root of 3. The bottom would be square root of 3 times square root of 3, and that would be square root of 9. And square root of 9 is a 9 is a perfect square, so that would be equal to 3. So our the bottom number is going to be a 3. That's the reason why we're rationalized, so then the radical symbol will go away. Okay, let's try it again. So for, number, uh, for 45 degrees, we will have square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2. So if we are going to rewrite this just how we did it for the second one. We'll have square root of 2 over 2 times we change the operation to multiplication and flip the second fraction. So 2 over square root of 2. Well, you probably already figure out that everything will get canceled because we're dividing exact same number. So everything gets canceled and so our answer would be equal to 1. All right, so let's try 60 degrees. So square root of 3 over 2 times. We flip this. So we'll have 2 over 1. So we keep the first fraction, which is the sine right here, the sine value. And then we change the operation into multiplication, and we flip the second fraction. So this will give us... All right, there's something we can cancel, the denominator and the numerator too. So our final answer is square root of 3. 
Next, we have 1 over 0, and because the denominator is 0, this makes the given fraction um, undefined. So we'll write the word undefined. And the next one, square root of 2 over 2 times negative 2 over square root of 2. So exact same number, however, the operation for the second fraction is negative, and so this will be negative 1 because everything gets canceled. And then the last one is 0 over negative 1. That would be equal to 0. And this is how we fill up the chart. Again, we reference the unit circle to complete the, this chart. If you find value in this video, please hit like and subscribe. I really appreciate um, your support. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.